In today's video, I'm going to show you a neat trick that I use to make my animations inside Cartoon Animator look a little bit smoother, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a new video. And if you are new to animation and you want to um, start out or you've never animated before but it's something that you would like to do, I've got some great news. I've got some online video training. It is absolutely free. So in this uh, video training, uh, you will learn the basics of animation like keyframe animation and uh, you'll work alongside with me and by the end of the video you would have created your very own animation and that is what I want. I want you to start. That's the best way to learn and you'll know the basics of animation which means you can then continue further on your journey. You'll have enough knowledge. So if you're interested in taking up on that uh, or to take that um, online training in the description box below there's a link um, and go sign up and if you're also interested um, I'm currently working on a my own 3D animated film if you want to see how I create it and learn alongside the way um, maybe you want to see how to create your own um, animation projects um, I've got a Patreon account so also, in the description box below, there's a link. Click there and um, feel free to support me. Um, the funds for the Patreon will fund the um, f will help me fund um, the movie, um, but you will also learn, and so it's actually beneficial for you as well. So feel free to support me in that way as well. Now today we're gonna look at. Um, I'm gonna share a tip that I use when I animate inside Cartoon Animator, um, and the reason. I use this tip um, because Cartoon Animator works with sprites, which means that sometimes they, um, if, for, if you don't know, a sprite is basically just an image. So, for instance, your hands, you've got for every hand gesture, you've got a separate sprite. Okay, so what happens is if you want a, a open hand and then you want your character to move to a fist, there's not a smooth transition, it is just one image and in the next um, keyframe the hand is closed. So it's there's a jumping movement um, inside your animation when your um, character moves from one sprite to another. There's that jumping motion, there's not a smooth transition. Um, so that jumping uh, motion can really hinder or bother the viewer. Uh, it it doesn't look nice. So how do you work around that? Okay, so I've got this step that um, I want to show you today how I move around that so that you don't see that jumping movement and that your animation simply looks a lot smoother. Okay, so let's quickly give you an example. I'm going to click on this character of mine and so I want the first movement. Let's click on him and so I'm going to, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to point like you and me. Okay, so there's you, this, his hand is like that, pointing, and then the next movement, his arm will be in and he'll pointing with his thumb, thumb towards himself. Okay, so that is the movement I want to do quickly. So let's do that. So let's right arm, I'm just going to, there and let's um, let's make his arm a bit straighter okay and like so and let's just change his hand sprite so as you can see um, these are the different hand sprites so it is all just different images okay so there I've got him pointing okay so now I want, let's say, at frame 15, I want him now to point to himself. Um, right arm, let's drop it, move it up, move his hand, and let's change the sprite. So what's going to happen now is I will show you. Okay. So... If I press play, 
you'll see there's a jumping movement with his hand okay actually this movement is too slow so let's just speed it up a little bit let's take it up to 10 or yeah might be but that's better now you'll see right at the beginning if I do slow motion there is a jump movement okay so when you animate there's a jump movement. How do you work around that so that you don't see it? So my tip here is I normally make the sprite changes inside movements um, while movement is happening. So this is where that sprite changes. So what I will do is I will make it in the middle. Uh, let's just select the one. And I will make that sprite change in the middle of the arm movement. Okay, so what happens now? You don't really see that jump. Okay, it is much better. So in the middle of that movement, I will change the sprite, and um, it is a lot more hidden. You don't see that jumping movement. So that is one tip that I like to use. Okay, so. Let's just delete everything. Um, let's if I remove object animation. Um, okay, that didn't work. So let's just. Okay, so now I want to show you another example. Let's say I've got this character. He's standing here. He's talking, and what he's after he um, was talking to someone. He's going to turn around and walk away. Okay, um, so. What you can do is, for instance, you can, uh, let's say he talks and then he, um, he turns and then you can um, make him walk. So, let me just find, uh, it's this one, walk. Um, let me just see which one I always use for this character. Let's just use this one. So the S, you'll see one S, two L, and three E. So what this means, S stands for start, L stands for loop, E stands for end. Um, so S is, is your starting movement for your walking motion. So we drag that. So there he starts, and now you can drag the L as many times because that is the loop motion. Uh, and then you can just add the E for end, and there he stops. Okay, and let's just um, drag. So he basically starts walking there. So let's add a transform. And he ends roughly there, so let's just drag him there, okay. And let's so if I press play, you'll see there's a kind of a jump where when he turns, he turns and starts walking, okay. That doesn't look very natural, so what I do is that flip where he turns, I will make it in the middle of this first uh, motion, the start motion. So if I go to the flip, there it is, and I will see um, where is he s roughly there. Let's make it where he starts to walk. So now it looks a lot better because that flip where he turns is in the middle of a walking motion and it is a little bit hidden it is not so obvious so he's he's basically starting to turn um, in where uh, or he's turning when he starts to walk in that motion so it looks like as he starts walking in that motion he's turning so it kind of hides that uh, jumping effect you can still see it but it is not as obvious um, as in the first example so that is basically a very simple tip um, that I can share it is something that I do to just make your animations looks 
look a whole lot smoother. Um, so let me know if there's any other tips that you use when you use Cartoon Animator or any other animation software to make your animations a little bit smoother. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if this tip, maybe if you're using it or maybe it's something you've never used before and it's something new that you can incorporate. Let me know in the comments below and also feel free to like this video. It really um, helps the YouTube channel and the algorithms and that's one way you can support the channel and also feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So from me, Eon, I'll see you guys next week with another video. God bless and happy animating.